Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price because currently we are breaking down my friends. So we have to do a recap on what is happening right now and what are the potential targets. And also we're gonna have a look into the DXY and into the Ethereum price because we need to be updated my friends. So today we're gonna cover everything. So let's start here in the Bitcoin price and we're gonna start here also in the four hour because as you can see yesterday we had here this uh, breakout to the downside from this rising wedge that we mentioned in yesterday's video and we had an initial support here at $34,740 exactly where we were expecting to have support. The only problem is that currently we are losing this yellow trend line, this strong support line that we had during the last couple of days and weeks. So currently the problem is that we are losing this support and if this four hour candle is gonna close below $34,800 this could be a confirmed breakout to the downside and we should be have this target in eyes right here at the 200 moving average at $31,000. So what we want to see right now is first a four hour close below and then of course a retest of the new resistance that we could have now in theory right here at $35,000. So let's see what will happen in the next couple of hours my friends. The four hour currently is breaking down and if we go into the lower time frames you can see that currently in the one hour we already had a close and also confirmation that this is the new resistance for now. So let's wait and see also if we have here a four hour confirmation. So far it looks like that Bitcoin is gearing down towards the 200 moving average here in the four hour right at $31,000. There is also where I'm expecting a possible bounce. If not, then the most bearish scenario could play out where we're gonna crash towards 27,000 or maybe even towards 20K. So the four hour currently is looking bearish. We're trading below the 50 level in the RSI. And also if we go over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we are breaking out to the downside. We are right now below the Bollinger Band. We have now all indicators shifted to the downside. So if this four hour close is gonna close below the bottom of the Bollinger Band, I'm expecting here continuation towards 31,000. And if we go over into the daily time frame, you can also see that we had a couple of closes between here the 20 and 9 daily moving average. And if today we're gonna lose here the support that we have at the 20 daily moving average, so at around 35,800, I'm pretty confident that we will head towards 31,000 and potentially towards our next potential support here right at $27,000, where also the 50 daily moving average is lining up. And uh, also the daily currently is in a very critical point because uh, you can see that the RSI is coming down to the 50 level. So we should in theory expect here a bounce from the 50 level. If not, then we will drop below the 50 level and that of course could signal a major drop towards our bearish targets. And therefore guys, we have to go over into the weekly time frame because here you can clearly see all the supports that we have in case of a major dump first here right at the nine weekly moving average at $27,500 and if this support will not hold then watch out here for the 20 weekly moving average so right here at the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement based on the local top that we had here at $42,000 and the bottom that we had last year in March at 3,800. So these two important moving averages in the weekly are the important support levels that we have to keep an eye on if we're gonna see a major dump. And I think this huge correction is in the cards also because the RSI in the weekly was very overbought. And as you can see, we still have a lot of room left to the downside. We could even come down here towards the midline of the RSI, so at the 50 level. And therefore we could see this potential test here of this nine weekly and 20 weekly moving average. So between 20K and $27,000. Also, as you can see, my own indicator here is still flashing this sell signal. Usually when we have this sell signal flashing in the weekly, we could have this major drop towards a nine or 20 weekly moving average. And that's why my friends be ready to buy more Bitcoin at these levels here. If you have some cash on the sideline and you want to buy the dip and at the same time, 
if you want to open up some nice longs for the long term then make sure that you're ready over on Bybit and Femex to trade this to open up some nice longs between 27,000 and 20k if we're gonna see this huge correction because even though we could fall towards these important supports down here I'm expecting Bitcoin to have a big bounce from it and therefore you could do some very nice gains if you're trading this also with the long and if you still need an account over on Bybit and Femex then and make sure to use my referral links down below here in the video description because with my links you will get some extra bonus and currently we also have this special jackpot bonus going on over on Bybit you just have to put this word in the rewards hub and you can get up to $500 if you put a deposit of 1.5 Bitcoin. So take advantage of this nice promotion that is going on right now on Bybit, especially if you want to set up some nice longs if we're going to drop towards those levels. So since we are now breaking below this important support, my friends, I think that we could see this possible bearish scenario playing out right now, especially if we're going to lose here the $31 support. If we don't see a big bounce here at the 200 moving average in the four hour, I think that we could be in a massive correction here and take it as a good buy and long opportunity. Don't go and panic sell, my friends. If you're taking out some profits up here, then make sure that you put it back into Bitcoin if we we see the bearish scenario playing out. So since Bitcoin right now is falling from this support level, we're gonna have a look now into the Ethereum price because recently we had here this nice pump. We didn't met our target. As you can see, we just came up here towards the old all time high and currently we're getting rejected. And I told you my friends that if Bitcoin is gonna have a big dump, all the altcoins gonna plunge as well because the show is clearly over on the Bitcoin price. And even though some altcoins will perform very well in the future and they are also looking very bullish in the bigger time frames, if Bitcoin is taking a plunge, then for sure also the altcoins will follow. And Ethereum currently is coming back down to the previous support here. And if we're gonna close this four hour candle below $1,230, I'm pretty confident that also here we're gonna have a massive drop at least towards the 200 moving average right here at around $930. And if Bitcoin is going to fall lower, so towards 27,000 to 20K, I'm expecting a similar drop also here in the Ethereum price where we could easily fall again towards this $900 area. And if this support will not hold, we maybe have an even bigger drop towards here, the $600 area, which previously was a very strong resistance and now it should be acting as a big support. So if Bitcoin is crashing towards 20K, I'm expecting a complete retracement here, also in the Ethereum price towards $600. So watch out for these levels if the bearish scenario is going to play out my friends because this could be also a very nice buy and long opportunity for Ethereum. And the reason why we're seeing this potential bearish scenario playing out right now is in my opinion because of the DXY. Currently as you can see here in the weekly time frame we are breaking out from this falling wedge that we were in here in the last couple of weeks. And if the DXY is able to have a big push to the upside, let's go over into the daily time frame because here you can see the clear targets in case that the DXY is really able to push higher here. So towards our previous support, which now should be acting as a new resistance right here between the 100 and 200 daily moving average. If we are seeing the DXY pumping towards this direction, this bigger correction in the Bitcoin price could happen, my friends. So be prepared for that scenario because the DXY right now is looking once more a bit more bullish than bearish. We are trading currently above the 20 daily moving average. So far we got rejected from the 50 daily and if we are able to push higher and start to close daily candles above $91, we could see this potential short lift pump to the upside. So keep a very close eye on what is going on here in the DXY as well, my friends, because this could be the reason why we could see this major correction happening in the next couple of days or weeks. And all in all, even though we could see this massive correction, I don't think that this is going to last for too long. Most likely it's going to be a very short lived correction, maybe one or two weeks. We're going to trade in these lower levels down here. 
if we are seeing this bigger dump going on right now so take it as a good buy and long opportunity if you're waiting with some cash on the sideline to enter into the market so we are facing very critical times right now my friends and that's why you must be updated every day on what is going on here in the crypto space so that's why make sure that you are subscribed here in this channel also always hit that like button very much appreciated my friends and of course make sure to join our free discord trading chat because this is where we always keep you updated whatever is happening so make sure that you're joining our great crypto family over there we have a very great community and this is also the place where you can get access to my own live stream indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin if you're trading with leverage over on bybit or femex this is very very useful especially if you are a beginner and if you don't want to trade yourself with leverage then maybe try out primex pt because here we have a special co-vesting feature where you can copy trade other successful traders and with that of course you can also do some nice passive gains without doing anything you can just register for free with the link down below here for primex pt top up some bitcoin over there and then just copy trade other successful traders like this you also have the chance to easily multiply your bitcoin so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content please smash up that like button let's wait and see what will happen in the next couple of hours if something crazy is going on i will bring out an update video but so far it looks like that bitcoin is heading towards thirty-one thousand dollars or towards a 200 moving average if you want to take this short opportunity otherwise wait for good long opportunities if we have a big bounce here at the 200 moving average and of course if we're gonna drop towards the bearish targets to buy as much as possible down between 27,000 to 20k so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye <laughs>